Hey loves, I have not even brushed my hair yet today. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna run some errands today. We're gonna do a little DIY. I will show you, we'll get to that in a minute, but I'm gonna put my hair up now. I was gonna wear my hair down and show you guys my extensions, but I think I'm just gonna show you the extensions and then put it up in a ponytail. A lot of you guys have been asking for that tutorial as well. So we're gonna do that. Let's do, let's do it, let's, let's do it, let's do it. So I washed my hair last night, so it is clean. Uh, I've missed you guys. How are you? What's going on? What's up? Let a girl know. I changed my red just a little bit, so there is a video coming on that. I have another new set of extensions that I need to color um, that are a little bit shorter, a little bit more everyday extensions, because these ones are, these are long. These are long. I'm going to do the sections in the front, the little bangs. So I'm just going to kind of carve those out. So there's that section. Binks is coming. You gonna try and jump on the counter? This always drives me crazy. I'm gonna look really silly for a minute. Just bear with me. What's new? Um, and I'm gonna just take a bobby pin, do is a hair clip, whatever you got. And I'm just gonna pin those out of my face because I will let them down and I will curl them and everything in a minute. Um, but we are going to put my hair up. And then I'm just gonna brush everything back from there. Give it a little tease just so it looks a little more foofy. Foofy, poofy. <laughs> I should just go like this, you guys. Um, the extensions I use are Irresistible Me. They are the invisible wefts. You can see them. I think I'm actually going to spray the wefts with my uh, root spray today so they don't show up in the back. Sometimes when my hair starts to fall down, I'll show you, but I'm just going to spray it and it's going to turn it brown. Um, so I'm just going to use the back pieces for my ponytail today. But so here's my first piece. I have had these layered by a stylist, just you guys. And again, so these ones are the seamless ones, so they lay flat against your head. I get asked so often how I do my curls. I really need to replace this because she is on her last leg. But this is a one and a quarter inch curling iron from Hot Tools. And even when I'm just doing a ponytail, literally just curl them. Same thing with my hair. I normally just out of habit curl it away from my face. And then I let it sit for a minute and then I brush it through. So the loose waves that a lot of people have been asking me how to do, literally the same thing. Um, I will do an updated like everyday hair tutorial. I'm sorry that I just feel like when I'm running errands, I just, if I have my full weave on, it just feels like too much. And I'd rather just have my hair up today. I just want to get stuff done. And it's just what sounds better to me. So again, just curling. Where should we go today? I know I need to go to the dollar store. I'm gonna make another little uh, clay vase, faux with clay vase, excuse me. I'm really excited. They turned out really cute. I'm putting them in the background for my beauty videos. And I did a few of them and I really like them. Uh, but now it feels unbalanced because there's three and not four. Oh girl, that was a bad curl. Let's try that again. So yeah, these have been like my ride or die extensions. I've been loving. I'm gonna show up in the ponytail. So I'm just gonna. Lightly curl my natural hair. Just gonna curl. That was fail. See, it just doesn't clip on. Maybe I'll we'll go to TJ Maxx and get a new one today. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go backwards because I have them all labeled. So I'm just gonna take this one and I'm putting it upside down. So I did four. Now I'm doing three. This takes just as long as doing my hair any other way, so I don't know why I think I'm saving time by doing my hair up. But it does keep it out of my face, and then I can still feel like my hair is done, because it is, but it's out of my face. real life. All right, I'm gonna let those chill for a minute. Um, also gonna, I'm gonna go pack some packages because we need to go to the post office today. I have some Poshmark stuff to send out to you guys. Um, and then we're gonna go run some errands. So the secret to the waves is a bigger curling iron and then brushing them out, that's it. Um, and I usually curl them away from my face, even with these little things, these little, these little bangs. All right, anyway, I'm gonna prep all that stuff and we'll see you in a minute. 
Oh, I hope you're going to stay up here. You have a new dash. <laughs> hey, love. So we are driving to the post office. Um, and we're going to go to the dollar store because I want to make another one of those clay vases. You know, okay. I'm just going to wait until I have somewhere to park because I'm worried it's going to fall off and I just don't want that. Oh, hey, we're going to Starbucks. I decided since I am out, I need Starbucks. Do you like this, you guys? I feel like anyone that knows me knows that this is one of my prized possessions. I feel like if I'm out in the world today, I need to get coffee. There we go. I don't think it's going to want to stay right there, but we're just going to try. Um, so yeah. Hi, how are you guys? How are things? Um, pretty usual. I feel, oh no, I see it. They're out of it too. Should I try the other one? Ugh. I gotta figure this out now. What am I gonna get? I had one with cinnamon dolce the other day and it was pretty good. Shoot. Maybe I'll get caramel. Shoot. That brown sugar. Everyone loves it. It's so freaking good and now they're out of it. Um, hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna figure this out. I'll be right back. <laughs> I dropped the camera. Uh, so they were just out of oat milk. Oat milk, not the brown sugar. So I got it with soy milk. Um, I don't think it's going to be quite as good, but it's still going to be good. I'm excited. God. Yeah, I really need to get off my head. It just underneath my weave. It's the worst. But yeah, I, I feel like my brain is mush. I feel like when I have allergies, especially like I can't even think, can't even, I don't even know. I feel like it's going to be such a boring vlog because, you know, I don't know. I just feel like going to go do something, get out of the house. What are you guys doing? How is life? How are things? Things are good for me. Um, you know, things are good. Everyone keeps saying that I look different and I think it's just, I'm happier. <laughs> like something's different. Something's different about me. I'm happier. Um, my second round of Botox for my TMJ and girl, I, 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 I'm obsessed because my TMJ is so bad. I would have jikes every single day. It's still kicking in. I've only had it. I only got it a few days ago. How long has it been? Girl, I don't even know time anymore. Go so fast, go so slow. Um, but yeah, if you were thinking about it and you can like figure it out and afford it, girl, do it. It is a thousand percent worth it. Um, I know it doesn't work for everyone, but it definitely has worked for me. It does have facial slimming effects. What really it does is, you know, my muscles in my jaw were just, you're totally crooked right now. We're always swollen and always just like inflamed and bigger. So it looks like my face is slimmer, which I mean it is, but it's just because of the Botox, I think. All right, we got coffee. Um, so they were out of oat milk. So I just got soy. So I still got the brown sugar. I think I already told you that. But I'm very excited. It is still very good. It honestly tastes basically the same to me. Oat milk almost weirds me out because it tastes so much like regular milk to me. Keep in mind, I stopped drinking regular milk like a long, long, long many, many, many years ago. Um, I've only been vegan for a, like a year and a few months. But... I stopped drinking milk. I had been drinking almond milk or soy milk or whatever in my coffee for many, many, many years. So she good. She good. I'm excited. I really do like that brown sugar syrup. Uh, she good. Uh, so I'm going to run in TG Maxx just because I don't know. I saw these cute little Zodiac crystal boxes on TikTok that people have been getting. Um, and anyone that got them that I saw said they were real. People were saying that they were going to be fake. Um, I mean, We'll see. Apparently, they're by a small business, but also being sold at TJ Maxx. Uh, so I'm just going to peek at them. Maybe it's cheesy. I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm still looking for more decor or my house. Still working on that. Uh, I don't know. Something just made me want to go to TJ Maxx today. And I need to look at... Sorry, I play with my ponytail too much. And I know sometimes it drives people nuts. But let a girl live. It's okay. I forgot what else I was saying. But we're just going to look at stuff. And things because I feel like it. I'm also doing a little vlog for TikTok. Um, my TikTok is the same name on here if you want to follow me there as well. I want to try and be better at TikTok. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be great at Instagram, but I think that if I put my mind to it, I can be half decent at TikTok. The people that I love watching on TikTok honestly just do like daily vlogs and just they're like, hey, what's up? And just like it feels like you're hanging out with a friend. So maybe we'll try that because I honestly miss vlogging and I feel like creating a TikTok is so much easier than creating a YouTube video. So if that's something you guys are into and if you're on TikTok, let a girl know. Um, also I'm working on new merch that says let a girl know if there's anything else that you guys want on merch besides like the ones that are obvious like she cute girl stuff like that that I just can't seem to stop saying uh let 
let a girl know. Let a girl know. So we'll launch that soon. Um, I just sent out all the Poshmark packages. So if you ordered anything, thank you. I appreciate it uh, very much and that stuff is on its way to you with your free little gifts inside if you ever order anything make sure to check like in the clothes because like i wrap the gifts in the clothes to keep them extra cushioned it's usually makeup or skincare or something um but anyway um i was gonna do what i eat in a day but i feel like being very boring and later i'm just gonna eat leftover pizza and i had waffles for breakfast so that's that let's go to tj maxx guys and then i might just go to joanne's out here and then run in the dollar store could just do that all out here. I really don't like the dollar store out here. Last time I was there, the cashier was like kind of having a tantrum. She was visibly mad at another worker. And that just doesn't, not my vibe, you know? I understand if you're frustrated, but you're a work girl. And she completely ignored me. She like rang up my stuff and turned around and didn't hit the button for me to check out. So I was staying there awkwardly for like literally a minute because I'm so socially awkward that finally I was like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> That's my problem too, but I don't know. I am out in the valley, so maybe I'll just do that. Anyway, I'm just a rambling. This is going to be the longest ramble vlog ever, but that's fine. We will get to the DIY later. I'm very excited to finish that up and to go look at some floral at Joanne's. Okay, I should stop talking with my mask on in my car with my car off because it's going to get warm. But you guys, I have AC now. I have AC now. It's so, it's so exciting. I don't really need it yet, but it's so exciting. The bug, the bug is no more. The bug has gone to live with someone else. Hopefully she's living a good life. She lived, I had her for 15 years, so I hope she's good. Miss you, bug. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing lipstick under my mask, you guys. Are you proud? Because anytime I don't wear lipstick, people are like, you look weird with no lips. You know, it's cool. And I kind of hate these lashes. Anyway, let's go to TJ Maxx. I need to shut up, gosh. All right, we back. Excuse me, Posty. You're going to have to chill out up there. Mm. So good. Got a couple little things. Nothing that I was looking for. Sometimes things just decide they need to come home with you, you know? Uh, they had some really good organizational stuff. Uh, I got this little guy. I might just put my paints in it because I've been painting a lot. It's like a caboodle. Um, and it was only $9.99. They had it in gold and pink as well. Hopefully you can see it's like an iridescent sparkly. Super kind of cheapy plastic, but it'll do the job. Honestly, it's just trying to open it that gets a little a little wonky. But there's like these little compartments. I don't know. Trying to get a little more organized. And I have paint everywhere in my bedroom. So I figured I could put my brushes and my paints in here, maybe. And then it's got some of these little guys, little hair clips. Uh, not the best price for them, but the color was so cute. It's $3.99 for four of them. Uh, you can get something kind of similar off Shop Miss A, but they're always sold out. And I am always losing clips. I'm always losing bobby pins. So I saw these and I was like, those are too cute. It's little pink clips for um to clip your hair back. Uh, like when I'm doing try-ons, I love to like clip back my bangs because they just want to be in my face at all times forever so that's all i got there uh these were $3.99 again the little container thing was $9.99 super good deals super cheap good finds going to sanitize again um yeah let's go to joanne's okay i'm gonna go <laughs>
Girl, girl, my uh, air is on. I could turn it off, but that doesn't sound like a good time right now. So I'm gonna leave it on. Uh, I just got out of Joanne's. Uh, people are being so rude to retail workers today and it just drives me crazy. I worked in retail for 15 years and like, just be nice. It's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. Anyway, Joanne's, I just got, this is what I went in for. I love that I bought grass. Grass, uh, buy one, get one free. I just need something else tall for the background because uh, the pink floofies are tall and I wanted something for the other side that was tall. So I got this grass, buy one, get one free. So I got two of the same one. Then I found this cute stencil because I stink at making stars when I'm painting. So I made, found this cute little, cute little stencil. Why it's totally up my alley. So that'll be fun to play with. Um, but yeah, that's all I got on Joanne. But I got what I was looking for. Now I just need to go to the dollar store and get more vases. I'm doing pretty good today. I've only spent like $15 or less at each place. I spent $12 at Joanne's and then uh, maybe it was 16 or so with tax at TJ Maxx. But getting some good stuff. So I'm gonna go to the dollar store. Oh, Posty just wants to, he just wants to, just wants to be part, part of the fam. Can I just like make that? <laughs> just talk to you like this. It's my, <laughs> I'm very easily amused. Um, ugh, I am so thankful I don't work in retail anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. I love you guys so freaking much. I hope you know that. I hope, even, even the people that are mean to me, girl, I love them because I'm still, I have the best job in the world and I am no longer having to deal with strangers. I do not think I would have made it through retail in a pandemic. If you work in retail right now, during this pandemic, you deserve a coffee. What's funny is two of the girls, one of them walked up um, to the other one uh, while the guy was being mean to a different girl and they were just like, we should go get wake up call. <laughs> I was like, girl, I had like two coffees a day while I worked in retail because sometimes that's what you need to get through your day. Okay, I'm gonna go to the dollar store. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Girl, I am starting to look a little bit crusty. This makeup under the mask starting to look a little bit crusty, just saying. Um, they had the vase I needed at the Dollar Tree. I'm just doing basically the same, one of the same ones that I've already done, um, but you'll see me do that. I got <laughs> the most random stuff. I just got um, some little clips because I never have enough. I got some bobby pins because I never have enough. Um, I'm not sure if these are, oh, uh, they are kind of the sharp kind, but they were a dollar, so. You know, you can't be too picky. Um, I've got the vase, which you probably saw me in the shopping. I grabbed this because I needed something to clean my water bottles. And the ones I buy off Amazon went up crazy. So I got a baby bottle washer uh, for a dollar. I love what I'm saying for a dollar, even though it's a dollar store. Yeah, and then I got some some Twizzlers. Some Twizzlers. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head home now. I am pooped. That is way too much human interaction for me today. Especially shopping alone. I feel like it's just too much. Oh, it's too much, but it was fun to take you guys with me. So let's go do, I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat some dinner and then I'm going to do that DIY so that the next time I sit down to film, I will have my vase and I will feel much more balanced in the background. All right, let's go home. Go see the kittens. <laughs> These are the vases that I've already done. I literally just painted with paint and baking soda. And so I'm just getting another one like this is what I got. You can see up close that it's not perfect. I only did two coats on this one, but this guy's got three, so we'll probably do three on the next one. Um, and there's another one over there. Up close, not the cutest in the world, but like in the backdrop, they're cute. They're cute. I'm feeling the monochromatic like matte look. Uh, I did this little tiny pink one too, but I haven't put anything in it. So I would show you guys 
what they're gonna look like. All right, let's do this. All right, so these are the paints that I used. I think I'm, mm, do I wanna do another pink one? Because there's not really a pink one. Maybe we'll do a pink one. Let's do a pink one. I'm gonna mix the pink and the gray. Again, I got these at Joann's a little while ago, but if you just saw me shopping, they have a ton of these colors. Um, let me see if it says what the actual colors are. Oh, we've got soft pink, light beige. Is this light beige? Light beige, tan, and uh, what are you, peachy friend? Light peach. Some baking soda. <laughs> I'm trying to do this one-handed. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys can figure it out. Wait, I'm using a, ba a baby tiny tripod. So I've got it all mixed up. So it's just slightly tinged pink, but it's like a tan pink. And this is literally it. Are you ready for this revolutionary application? I had used sponges and it didn't seem to work as good as this brush does. Um, and you can go either way, depending on how you want the pattern to kind of look, um, cause it will leave brush strokes with this guy. Maybe with the sponge, it won't be. That's why most people use a sponge. I might do this one kind of thick because I poured out too much paint and obviously the paint's going to dry. Um, and I don't want to waste it. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll put it on my hand like this. Resourceful. My hand, oh, look what I just did. <laughs> my hand. This is the first uh, layer anyway. It takes like half hour or so in between drying, depending upon how thick you make your layer. Paint on the pants. Honestly, I'm surprised it's taking me this long to get paint on my pants because there is paint on my bedspread now. Cause I literally did these. Girl, I do anything I can sit in bed and watch Netflix or watch YouTube and do, I will. So I literally just sat in bed and like put this on a paper towel next to my bed as I did them. And I did multiple ones at once so that it took up some of the time. Sweet. So yeah, I'm just gonna set her for a little bit and then uh, we will do coat two. I may not show you all the coats, but I do three coats. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my food now. Look at this cute little eggy. Look at this little eggy guy from Glossy Box. I believe they are now sold out of these little guys, but if you, you can always subscribe to BoxyCharm. I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out, but this was like their little Easter goodie. It was supposed to arrive sooner, but they had some issues. How cute is this little egg? They always have the cutest special, like limited edition stuff like this. So if you are a subscriber to Glossy Box, you're gonna be able to get it sooner. Uh, but let's see what's inside. I don't even know. I haven't looked at it yet. Ooh, girl. Uh, but I know it's supposed to have some goodies in here. Got a pearl brightening sleeping mask. Oh, I see. There are bins of clothes back there that need to go on Poshmark. That's what's behind me. Let me turn you a little bit. Here we go. So we've got this little guy. Grande Cosmetics, Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Mascara, Dynamic Resurfacing Gel Mask from Elements, some Bioderma, ooh, um, Sensible Gel, what is this? Oh, Mild Cleansing Foaming Gel, it's a cleanser. Sweet, uh, Wander Beauty Dive In Moisturizer, can always use a new moisturizer. The Surf Foam Spray Blow Dry, ooh, Bumble and Bumble. Yes, yeah, relaxing hand cream in lavender, which I love lavender from Provence, Mademoiselle Provence. As you can see. Sweet. Well, thank you, Glossy Box. I greatly do appreciate this little goodie that you sent over. So yeah, I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check out Glossy Box. They are awesome. I am all about beauty subscriptions. If you want to save money but try new products every month, they are a great way to do that. Check my pizza. Leftover pizza. Why do I always have to say it like that? I don't know. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to add a little bit of peach to it. See what happens, make it a little bit more orangey, orangey pink. Me back, wearing my huggle that needs to be replaced desperately that's got food on it. Hi, hi Luna. You wanna come on my lap? You say hi as always. Oh, I messed it up by touching it, but that's fine. I'll just put that towards the back of the wall. 
I like this color more. It's kind of peachy. Peachy pinky. It goes better with, it's going to vibe better. Yeah, I'm hoping, I think that the two on this will be okay. Just because it's a lighter color. And I'm laying it on pretty thick right now. Shoe girl. This is the content you're, you're looking for, right? This is the content they need. All right, loves. Well, I will insert a little clip of what this pot looks like at the end uh, with everything in it. In it. Thanks, don't sniff that um, so you guys can see. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like it's going to be longer than I even thought it was going to be. Um... <laughs> so I love you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoy it vlogs so I can keep doing them for you. Uh, what you guys want to see next. If you want more DIYs, let a girl know. All right. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. At least for Luna. Do it for Luna. You know? All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Balls. We're okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, should we name it Austin after Post Malone? Or there's like women that are just vibing and you can like tell that they're... No, there's a scent. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 flying, you know, they're just grooving. They are just vibing at TJ Maxx every single time. And I, I live for that. I live for that. Oh, let's go to one out here. It's still light out. It's just a little sketch. A little sketch. You know, just a little. Muy pequeño sketch, Rooney. Right on my pants. <laughs>